Seven women, five men still behind closed doors without a verdict. This has been their first full day of deliberations, and yes, on several occasions today, they have asked to see videotape and to get other statements from the actual trial process that's been going on for about three weeks or so now. But they have this case in their hands, and yes, they have a lot to consider. It wasn't long after the gruesome discovery of a body in a burned-out house on Madeline Street on Detroit's east side, several days after the man's August 9th disappearance last year. Back then, three men, including 18-year-old Ihab Maslamani, were arrested. The victim soon identified as 21-year-old Matthew Landry. The victim had been a missing person who'd been carjacked and abducted from an East Point Cuisnos. After a three-week trial, though, with hours of what the defense calls circumstantial evidence that fails to prove that he really was the killer, the prosecutor's summation was simple. We have lost the line. The defense argues his client admits elements of a three-day crime spree that included the robbery of a Flagstar bank in Harrison Township, where he was caught on tape, and an attempted carjacking outside of a Walmart in Roseville. But he claims that someone else actually killed Landry. The defense counsel is very pleased that the jury is asking to review evidence. I think it's a good sign. I think it's a sign that they're taking the job very seriously, that they, they want to be fair, that they want to consider all the evidence, that they've accepted my invitation to look at those videos and see if they really show what the prosecutor said they show. And so far, if the jury foreman is talking to the judge or anyone involved in this process about where they are, we have not heard it as yet. So far, they are still behind closed doors. When we hear from them and what the jury foreman wants to do, if they need more time, we will let you know. Live from Mount Clemens, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.